The Bantial Dam failure occurred because of severe weather and heavy precipitation. On July 30, 1975, a tropical depression formed in the Philippine Sea. This depression moved west as it tracked across the open ocean and eventually strengthened into Typhoon Nina. After a couple of days of meandering across the sea, Nina made landfall in eastern China and moved over the Henan province of China, the location of the Bantiao Dam. The Bantiao Dam was constructed in 1953. It measured 6 meters high and 12 kilometers wide and was built with a clay core. On August 5th, the outer bands of Nina began to interact with a warm front causing precipitation to fall over the region. A high-pressure system building to the north stopped Nina's forward motion, causing the storm to move very slowly and at times stalling over the course of several days. At this time, a second storm was forming in the Philippine Sea and began to follow Nina's track. The high-pressure system caused the second system to stall near China's coast. The second system fed moisture straight from the ocean into Typhoon Nina. This coupled with the stalled system, resulted in unprecedented rainfall. While it was within China's typhoon season, this rate of precipitation was unusually high. Within three days, 1.5 meters of rain fell in the dam's region, setting the stage for catastrophe. The 1975 Bantiao Dam failure impacted Zumadian China floodwaters covered an estimated 12,000 kilometers or 3 million acres. At the time of the dam failure, Dumadian was producing large quantities of steel. The local steel industry impacted the local ecosystem by largely reducing the forest cover in the area. The lack of vegetation allowed the velocity of the water to increase as well as the damage it caused. The frequency and magnitude of natural disasters change as climate changes. Many anthropogenic aspects such as deforestation and pollution contribute to climate change and can potentially increase the magnitude and frequency of disasters. Economically speaking, the dam failure cost millions in damages. All 62 dams downstream burst that day including all flood diversions and dikes, causing 20-foot-high waters to come rushing out. An estimated 26,000 people drowned, and several hundred thousand more were displaced from their homes. Some survived by climbing trees or getting on rooftops and were stranded without clean water or food. Food was airdropped in, but often lost in the water or spoiled by the warm summer weather. Some resorted to eating the floating animals' carcasses, which caused widespread diseases. Overall, the death toll is estimated to be in the range of 171 to 230,000. The Bantiao Dam failure is considered to be the worst energy disaster and has been referenced as one of the worst structural failures of all time. Poor maintenance and poor design also contributed to the Bantiao Dam failure. At the time the dam broke, the actual discharge capacity of the primary spillway was only at 80% of the dam's original design. This means the dam could not hold the maximum amount of water it was designed for. The chief engineer of the project, Chen Xing, opposed the dam's construction plans, claiming that the geographical features of the area would not support the desired water storage capacity for the constructed reservoir. His warning was ignored and he was removed from his post. Flood defense materials and equipment were not available at the dam during Typhoon Nina and no warning system was in place to alert the surrounding population. The devastating effect of the Bantiao Dam failure encouraged better record keeping of flooding events and precipitation in China and increased the investigation of geologic features. The designs of future flood control structures in China began to incorporate maximum flood potential based on a probable maximum precipitation the region receives and warning systems have since been put in place to alert at-risk populations. Since the Bantiao Dam failure, the construction of flood controlling systems has improved both in terms of structural stability and in safety.